what do you call that? What is that? That's a flabby arm. I call that a midlife crisis, aging, what the F, I'm going to hide that. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I'm having fun right now, <laughs> can you tell? I'm gonna talk about nine easy ways how to hide your flabby arms. Yes, madam, instantly, in a second, maybe five or six. Hi, I'm Frédéric. If you're new, welcome to my channel. To everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, today, I had a lot of requests coming from your comments on my YouTube videos. Thank you so much for that, girls, by the way. And a lot ask me how to hide fat arms, flabby arms, too big arms, floppy, I don't know, I don't know how you call that. And I'm like, hey, that's a good question. Let me doing some research for you because the only way obviously to hide your arms is to cover them. But you have few tops and more than better than over. So I can wait to share that with you. If you haven't done it yet, please uh, consider to subscribe. That will support my channel and my work. Thank you so much. Give me a big thumbs up and uh, let's jump straight into the video. So ladies, uh, this video is for you if you don't like your arms or you consider they flabby or too big, too fatty, I don't know, then please stop crying, it's okay. And let me show you a few tricks how to hide them and to boost your confidence. So the first one, and it makes sense, is to cover up, obviously. But you can wear, for example, a three-quarter length sleeves. It's so easy because if it's the same color, obviously, of your torso, let's say you wear a black top, for example, it's just going to elongate your arms as well. Don't forget, dark colors as well make you look thinner and slimmer. If it works for your waist, works for your hips, it will work for your arms as well. It doesn't mean that you need to wear all the time black. No, 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 the navy, the nice brown, nice dark gray as well. What else you have a dark color? I think it's pretty much burgundy, you know. You can wear as well puffy sleeves or what they call eyelet sleeves. So the sleeves that the rest of the body is quite fitted and the rest is a bit puffy, you know. So you don't see much difference between your shoulder to your wrist. So it gives you like one piece. It's very lovely, it's very fashionable as well. But let me tell you, if you are an inverted triangle, like me, with very broad shoulders, be careful with puffy sleeves or eyelet sleeves because that's going to bring more volume than already you have and that might not look fantastically well. So you can find them, but maybe the sleeve, the slim one. Number three, you always see me wearing my shirts like that. It's not like trying to hide my arms, but I just love it. I love sleeves up for everything. And when I wear her shirts, I like buying those shirts with the, you know, the little button. So I roll up my sleeve. It's secure with the little button. I can move around and not falling down again, because that's very annoying. And I love that. So again, it's the same. It will do the same work as the three quarter sleeves. It's beautiful. Plus you will have more details around you elbow and it can look very very classy as well so that's a very good one if you want to wear long sleeves as well you can go as well with a sheer top or maybe a sheer blouse got a little bit of nice color the same one i'm showing you right now and it's got a bit of a transparency so you're still showing your arms without showing too much don't forget to wear a nude bra because <laughs> I wear this shirt so many times without a nude bra. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is just wear as well as much as you want in terms of material and fabrics and print and textured, you know, but just you can show a little bit. I mean, at the end of the day, we all have arms. We need all to use them. So we cannot hide them. We can just play around. Number five, you can wear a voluminous sleeves, which I call the bat sleeve. The probably technical word will be like a kimono top, you know, with those beautiful sleeves. I love wearing those. I always love wearing those. And that obviously will bring you a lot of volume on top. If you do that, let me give you a tip. Try to wear a skirt 
or a jean or a pair of pants fitted so it doesn't bring volume everywhere you just bring volume on top but that can help you to moving around very lovely you can then when you put your arms up you can show a little bit on top i think i really love this type of top personally number six this is one of my favorite because this is all about the styling tips no matter your body shape okay is to give the eye to get attracted by something else outside that you don't want okay let me explain if you don't want to show your arms but you still want it's summertime it's hot you know but you still need to show your arms <laughs> that didn't make sense oh my gosh i'm hungry then you can wear a top with one shoulder you know this way the attraction will be on the shoulder and not on the arm plus it's very stylish especially if you wear that in dark i love that and you can just play around with that or maybe one shoulder but with a bit of the details on the other shoulders so this time people look and they will not look at your arms straight away they will look at your shoulders and they're probably not even going to notify your arms and they probably don't care if you really don't want to show your arms at all then you can wear a nice singlet and you can wear a light cardigan if it's spring or summer for you right now because it's obviously hiding your arms but you're still showing a little bit of skin with your cleavage something very tasty as usual classy lady and i think that's a beautiful way as well and you can even wear like a cardigan a bit of a sheer fabric something in feminine even with flowers yes I talk about flowers print for once but i just want you to be confident it's not because it's something you don't like in your body that you should not having fun with fashion and with your clothes you have already in your closet or your wardrobe i just want you to feel more confident and there's some tricks i'm sure you know most of them but play around with your wardrobe have fun do some tests take some picture and most important check your mood how you feel when you dressed up with all my tips that I'm sharing with you and said, oh yeah, I really like this tip, I really like that. Then it's a winner for you. Number eight, I already talked about it, but try to wear a dark top. It can even be a sweater, jumper, not a singlet because this one I'm showing my arms, but a shirt, a blouse, a tee with long sleeves, you know, and you can put the sleeves up. Again, I already explained that, but dark colors will make you look slimmer another tip is not for everyone if you really want to show for example a singlet like mine and you're coming soon in spring and in summer and you don't like to go to the sun because you're not silly enough to damage your skin with the sun then use a bit of a self tanning doing that properly i've done videos about it if you want a new video about self tanning I will be more than happy to do it for you. Let me know in the comment section. But because dark, dark, dark. So I'm not asking you if you, for example, my skin color and suddenly you use a super dark self tanning and it's not your normal skin color, you're gonna kill me. So don't do that. But think about it. When you get a tan, when you look a little bit darker, then your arms will look a little bit slimmer. I know, and you can add a little bit of highlights in makeup on your shoulders just to make it a little bit shiny, it's beautiful. You don't have to do it, but just think about it. When you're a bit tan or when you have a self tanning, you will look slimmer. It's just because of the color. Number nine, that's an easy trick. Everybody can do it. Wear a fabulous necklace. Wear like a statement necklace, something like boom because soon you're gonna meet someone they're going to look at you with your beautiful eyes but they're gonna look at your necklace and say oh my gosh your necklace is beautiful then they're not going to pay attention to your arms you know it works as well if you have a big pair of earrings try to avoid the big statement necklace the big statement earrings the statement rings and maybe too much but pick one or the other if you want both both you know but that really works it might work as well with a colorful scarf it might work as well with anything even if you wear a scarf in your hair i think that's super feminine i love it or even if you wear a bandeau and something colorful and super feminine with nice colors people are going to look at this first than your arms all right ladies that was my nine tips or ways to how to hide your flabby arms <laughs> I hope you really like it and you have fun and more important, I hope you learned something. Please let me know in the comment section what is your tip, did you learn something new? I hope so. 
I hope so because otherwise you won't be there again. Click, 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 click. Thank you so much for subscribing. This is so important. Thank you for supporting my channel. Mwah. You take care of yourself. That's it. No, I love you. Bye.